Hare Krishna, Jai Jagannath. So welcome to the series of discussion regarding the OPSC, Odisha Civil Service, last year, that is 2020-2021 prelims, GS paper one discussion. So we have a part already done. Each part has a question, proper discussion, analysis. So correct, correct option find out for you. The only option is to get information on it. So let's start uh, part th 13, that is from question uh, 61 to 65, okay? Look at that, let's see, uh, yeah, 61. So which of the following uh, river, which of the following tributaries of Indus river emerges from Pir Panjil range? So Indus river, uh, like tributary, both the important tributary mainly pasta uh, so, this is a Pir Panjil range. So, the Indus, like the Basin, the river is very important. Indus River, Vishen, Brahmaputra, Ganga, even your Kaveri, Godavari, these are the important rivers. Should know. Okay, so, its answer is Ravi River. The Satlas from that show basically Tibet River. Uh, Satlas and Indus both are coming from Tibet region only. <coughs> okay, and Jhelum is. Uh, Coming from your Jammu Kashmir region, uh, Ular Lake. So let's see. Sabu River origin. I'm looking So Indus River flows in northwest direction from its source, glaciers of Kailas Range. Uh, Kailas Range in Tibet near Lake Mansarovar. So Mansarovar Lake Pakhuru, Kailas Range ru bahar chikuda Indus River till the Nanga Parvat Range. Okay. Uh, so basically Indus River origin kudela Kailas Range glacier ru. Near the Lake Manasarabar. And the Jhelum has its source from uh, in a spring at Veri Nag in the southeastern part of Kashmir Valley. The Kashmir Valley, the uh, southeastern part uh, that is uh, got a spring, which is Veri Nag. Hmm? It flows northwards into Ular Lake, that is northwestern part of Kashmir Valley. Hmm? Both lake, important lake, which is Srinagar Pakre, got a Ular Lake, out of Dal Lake. So both are important rivers. Basically, in the Jhelum, the Ular to enter Kurchi. From Ular Lake, it changes its course southwards. At Baramula, the river enters a gorge in the hills. Chenab River originates, uh, originates from the near the Baralacha Pass in the Lahol Spiti part of the Jaskar Range. So, you know, the Indus River passes through the between in between Ladakh and Jaskar Range. So, Jaskar Range or Lahol Spiti part through the Baralacha Pass, which is the Chenab River. And Ravi has its source in Kulu Hills near the Rotang Pass. Ravi Kudashi, Kullu Hills near the Rohtang Pass in Himachal Pradesh. Okay. It drains the area between the Pir Panjal and the Dholadhar Range. So it drains the area between what? Pir Panjal and Dholadhar Range. The Biaj originates near the Rohtang Pass. Biaj is Rohtang Pass at a height of uh, four, more than four kilometer uh, height on the southern end of the Pir Panjal Range close to the source of Ravi. So both Biaj and Ravi are coming uh, near from the Pir Panjal Range only. Biaj Au uh, Rabi, Rotang Pass, so like Pir Panjal Range Rauji, say to Aschi. Okay. Biaj can the Meshiton Kodi Satlaj. Satlaj also comes from uh, Mansarawa Rakas Lake, Tibat region. Okay. Some of the general Satlaj Au Indus Amadekluki, Tibat Rashi, Mansarawa Lake Pakawaki. Hello. And Biaj and Rabi Deklu, uh, Rotang Pass, Pir Panjal Range. Chena from Baralacha Pass, Jaskar Range. Chelam, you are very nag. Okay. So you can see here, <coughs> uh, I got this figure from internet only. So in the Vagar Chardi, it is the Pir Panjal range. So here it is the Pir Panjal range. Actually, it is the uh, middle Himalaya part. Okay. Then we have answered the Kumakono. We put the figure of Karakaram, Trans Himalaya, Ladakh, Jaskar, so Karakaram, Tamarakona, Karakaram, Ladakh, Jaskar, so Trans Himalaya. So, this is the Greater Himalaya, Tabrajo, so, Middle Himalaya, Setra, so, Pir Panjal, and Dholadar. So Pir Panjal, you can see uh, north, west, through south, uh, east direction. So the Setra Bodra Pass bhi You can see Srinagar here, Gulmarg. Okay. So here you can see Jhelum River. Jodagi tamar dhamar dekhi pod. Very Nagru Bharchi. Aur eti tamar Ullar Lake hi kya diyaschi. Atar gude tributary la Kishan Ganga. Jo thay gude project bhi hoychi amara hichi. And you can see here Chenab River. Jodagi Chandra aur Bhaga mein sikhi diyaschi. Hala Chenab River you can see here. And Ravi and Biyaj, I mean, look at Pir Panjal Range, Ashchi. So Ravi, you can see here, origin from the 
पीरपंजल रेंज ओके सो लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 62 क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स इज नॉट करेक्ट इमेज मैं कोडा मैच करनी मैं तीनटा ठीक अछि गोटे भूल अछि सो स्टार्क सी वेव्स बजाडा विंड्स क्या मैं रिवर्स लागे ओके सो आंसर इज हियर बजाडा ओके सो लेट्स सी व्हाट आर द अदर ऑप्शंस तो बजाडा इज नॉट करेक्टली वन द विंड द्वारा हुए नी ओके कहां तरह हुए त देखियो हमें सो ओके फर्स्ट लैपिज विषय लिखा है छि जो फोर्थ ऑप्शन वाला दैट इज करेक्ट अंडरग्राउंड लैंडफॉर्म व्हिच इज तुमर जो योर चूना पत्थर कौन कौन सा लाइम स्टोन वगैरह रिजन देखा जाए अंडरग्राउंड इरोजन अंडरग्राउंड वाटर इरोजन जो सो इट इज फॉर्म ड्यू टू डिफरेंशियल सॉल्यूशन एक्टिविटी अलोंग पैरेलल टू सपरल जॉइंट दे आर आल्सो कॉल्ड ग्रुप फ्लुटेड और रिज लाइक फीचर्स ओके द मोस्ट वाइड स्प्रेड सरफेस कास्ट लैंडफॉर्म्स सरफेस कास्ट लैंडफॉर्म आर स्मॉल सॉल्यूशन पिट्स ग्रुप्स और रनल्स कलेक्टिवली कॉल्ड कैरेन ओके तो लैपिज और कैरेन अंडरग्राउंड लैंडफॉर्म है वाला कैमेज और ग्लेशियल लैंडफॉर्म एठी देथला रिवर्स ओके लेट्स सी सो स्मॉल राउंडेड हिलॉक्स ऑफ सैंड एंड ग्रेवल व्हिच कवर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लेन दैट इज कॉल्ड कामे कामे सर ऑफन एसोसिएटेड विद कैटल दिस इज रेफर्ड टू एज कामे एंड कैटल टोपोग्राफी कामे इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज हुमॉक्स सो स्मॉल राउंडेड हिलॉक्स ऑफ सैंड एंड ग्रेवल व्हिच कवर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लेन दैट इज योर ग्लेशियल लैंडफॉर्म एंड ड्रमलिंस आर ओवर ओवल शेप्ड हिल्स ड्रमलिंस आर व्हाट अठी किन ऑप्शन है नहीं इट मेंशन है जी ड्रमलिंस आर ओवल शेप्ड हिल्स लार्जली कंपोज्ड ऑफ ग्लेशियल ड्रिफ्ट लार्जली कंपोज्ड ऑफ व्हाट ग्लेशियल ड्रिफ्ट फॉर्मड बिनीथ अ ग्लेशियर और आइस शीट एंड अलाइंड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ आइस फ्लो सो बोथ कामे एंड ड्रमलिन कामे नाम कोन देखलु स्मॉल राउंडेड हिलॉक्स ऑफ सैंड एंड ग्रेवल और ड्रमलिन में कोन देखलु ओवल शेप्ड हिल्स लार्जली कंपोज्ड ऑफ ग्लेशियल ड्रिफ्ट फॉर्मड बिनीथ अ ग्लेशियर so both kame and dramlil are uh, glacial landforms and lapis and karen are underground landforms uh, in the cache topography uh, what de desert landforms are there by wind erosion so rock pedal style or mushroom rocks formed by the sand blasting effect of winds against any projecting rock masses okay bahut sara wind erosion jo bahut sara landform hi pariyo gotela tumara mushroom rock or rock pedal style ko hauchi mesa and butte these are very important remember these names Mesa and Butte are uh, desert landforms due to wind erosion. Mesa is a Spanish word meaning table. It is a flat table-like landmass with a very resistant horizontal top layer and very steep sides. Steep side, horizontal top layer. अरे अरे ऊपर डा हला वो तो कौन resistant but side उड़ा हला erosion ही हो जी. Mesa, the hard stratum on the surface resist inundation of both wind and water. That's what is the answer. Okay. and uh, there is another term jugen tabular masses okay whatever so remember just names and kahi ki ho ja da wind erosion jo ho ji ko thi ho ja desert re mesa bote jugen desert land so wind deposition jo bhi ho ji ho ja dunes to hum jaanu sand dune hue wagera hills of sand formed by accumulation of sand and do uh, it a most common type of dune hala barchan and safes barkan barchan whatever these are crescentic and moon shaped dunes hmm. that occur individually or in groups there live live dunes that advance steadily before winds that come from a particular prevailing direction most prevalently desert of turkestan and sahara uh, <clears throat> then safes or longitudinal dunes barchan hegla tumara moon shaped dunes safes uh, and or that is called longitudinal dunes hola uh, udko kon ta machi loess the fine dust blown beyond the desert limits is deposited on neighboring lands taku loess couch next landform of water actions in desert bajada joda se question hum dekh lu bajada that is actually landform of water actions in desert but it is like on wind it is not due to wind but it is due to water so bajada is what depositional features made up of alluvial material laid down by intermittent streams pediment is also one another uh, like uh, landform due to uh, water action in desert erosion plain formed at the base of the surrounding mountain scarps बेसिकली यार तो फिगर वाला तो मैं देखियो चेष्टा करो हम अलुवियल फैंस गॉर्जियस टेंपरेरी लेक्स लाइक प्लायाज जाडा कोन छन आल्सो सलिनार सलार्स सो हियर यू कैन सी आल्सो सम फीचर्स ड्यू टू सी वेव इरोजन सी केव इनिशियली इरोजन जो हो छ तापरे एटा पूरा कोन हो जाय कि गोटे अंडरकटिंग हो छ द आर्च सेफ्ट देन जतले आर्च स्टा वी ड्रॉप हो छ गोटे स्टाक रह हेडा हे जाउ छ परिणत तापरे स्टाक जतले वी पूरा खुसी जाउ छ एटा स्टंप हो छ सो स्टाक स्टंप एंड ऑल दीज आर ड्यू टू सी वेव इरोजन आमे देख लो जे बजाडा पेडिमेंट है ना टेंपरेरी लेक्स लाइक प्लायाज सलाइना और सलर्स 
these are due to land uh, like water action in desert how uh, wind action in desert am dekhilu kon dunes like deposition jo dunes barchan sea flows how uh, erosion jo hela tomaro kon mushroom rocks mesa and butte wagera dekhilu ame ata par kon dekhilu lapis and karen ame underground landform dekhilu jo to stalactite stalagmite so thai ni ki sei type ro cast topography ame dekhu lapis or karen hmm and camels am kon dekhilu glacial landform so kame hela tomaro glacial uh, landform uh, river bhi se tritik role rochi that's why so kame bhi even uh, hi pare not correct uh, but uh, because bajada wind dichi so that, that is more uh, correct stark to tame dekhilu sea wave jo hola stark storm am dekhilu lapis grand water that is correct so kames ame dekhilu kon glacial landform jo ko huchi basically uh, <clears throat> ग्लेशियल रिवर भले आसु तनु से हिसाब रे करेक्ट हि परबो बट बजाडा में देखलु कोन बेसिकली ड्यू टू वाटर एक्शन इन डेजर्ट्स हियर डिपोजिशन फीचर मेड अप ऑफ एलुवियल मेटल बाय इंटरमीडिएट स्ट्रीम्स कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 63 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्टली मैच्ड इवन सेम थिंग सो बेनेगल करंट इरमिंगर करंट पेरू करंट मोजमिंग करंट सो हियर आंसर इज इरमिंगर करंट दैट इज नॉट इन नॉर्थ फेसिंग बट वेयर इट इज एक्चुअली the irminger current irminger current is a north atlantic ocean current setting westward of the southwest coast of iceland so the iceland pakre rochi irminger current uh, so iceland is atlantic ocean but here it is written north pacific that's why it's wrong so other three are correct so bengal current in south atlantic yes peru current south pacific peru ko even humboldt current bhi kahanti remember this peru current peruvian current or humboldt current la uh, he is a famous uh, geographian and benguela current hala south atlantic benguela uh, basically that is uh, uh, your near africa africa west coast re. mozambique current uh, africa like uh, east coast re, indian ocean re, re. so irminger current am dekhilu uh, it is a north atlantic ocean kodi hochi tomar iceland pakre it is composed of relatively warm and saline waters uh, so from the eastern north atlantic that are fed by north atlantic drift so north atlantic drift jogu fed hochi eta so that's why it's uh, relatively warm and saline water the irminger current is part of the north atlantic subpolar gyre so it is a part of what north atlantic subpolar gyre the current is named after whom danish vice admiral carl ludwig christian irminger so it is a, he is a danish uh, vice admiral so thank you answer is let's see some important currents here so i have another figure so you can see here एक्चुअली जोडा तुमरो कोन पोलर रीजन रु उपर को जीव आसु छि सडा मेनली कोल्ड करंट हितिबो आ जोडा तुमरो लाइक इक्वेटर आरो जाउ छि सडा मेनली कोन वार्म करंट सो यू कैन सी हियर बट हियर यू कैन सी अलास्का बिकॉज़ ठीक तळाडू जाउ छि लाइक मिडिल आडू सो इट्स ए वार्म करंट उपर आडू छि कैलिफोर्निया करंट कोल्ड करंट हियर पेरू का पेरुवियन करंट और इट इज कॉल्ड हंबोल्ट करंट दीज आर सम इंपोर्टेंट करंट्स आई एम टेलिंग यू एंड हियर ब्राजील करंट देयर इज आल्सो हियर अनदर करंट फकलैंड करंट बिकॉज़ ऑफ फकलैंड आइलैंड्स here this is the benguela benguela current uh, which it is asked so it is a cold current la so peru uh, west coast sob dekho tomaro kon achi mainly sob jo important year hai west coast tomaro achi uh, cold current achi hela tol upar ja achi epade upar tol ko achi equator arko so peruvian current or humboldt current uh, benguela current here west australian current california current canary current east greenland labrador current very important coming from this uh, bay ओके यार गुड नाम अछि इवन दिस ईयर मेंस क्वेश्चन आस्तला ओके एंड हियर यू आर सीइंग ओएसओ करंट कैनरी करंट हियर सो कैलिफोर्निया करंट लैब्राडोर करंट ईस्ट क्लैंड कैनरी करंट लाइक यूरोपियन कंट्रीज जो आछि ओएसओ करंट हियर कुरोसियो हॉट करंट कुरोसियो करंट हियर ओगुलास करंट इज आल्सो हॉट मोजाम्बिक करंट आल्सो इट इज आस्ट so even it can it can uh, say cold hot ebhale bhi dei paribo cold direction of chi cold of chi ko cost of chi ko ocean re so kichhi bhi dei pare so you have to remember the whole picture so that you can answer the questions and you can see her equatorial uh, counter current so there will be some trade winds ame jodi padi thau tumhe geography trade winds so because of uh, like uh, water comes from cold area to hot water uh, hot uh, hot area hala so you can see her north equatorial current here coming south equatorial also coming here to ta ko counter kare pai gote pura in between equator bhi gote counter uh, current jay equatorial counter current but these these questions don't come then only this important this questions come kurosio hmm? oesio kurosio tomara tol upar jao chi hot current upar tol achi oesio uh, cold current agulas uh, current you can see here mozambique current benguela peru humboldt peru ko humboldt current ko chanti 
and the the question Irminger here it is asked Irminger current the Iceland paka you can see here and the North Atlantic drift to go on that get warm roach Irminger current hmm. so Greenland current Labrador current Irminger current and here you can see Gulf Stream hmm. you like a North Atlantic drift to go on North Atlantic Gaia we want to canary current here California current Alaska current and the North Equatorial left to go east to west South equatorial also and counter Korea by the way put a counter current in between the equator and here you see Peruvian current or uh, Humboldt current Benguela current mm -hmm. so let's move to question number for 64 64 is which of the following is not correctly made again Tulbul project Jhelum river Koteswar project Tapti river Dalasthi project Chenav river Sardar Sarwar project Norma Sardar Sarwar to move new Jathila to Tumas Vata Jantiwa Norma Dha river Hichi Sardar Sarwar project and even uh, your <clears throat> Tulbul project be about time news thila. So that is also in Jhelum River. Then uh, Dalhasti and Koteshwar project uh, maybe you don't, may not be knowing. So here actually not correct image is Koteshwar Dam. So Koteshwar is not in uh, Tapti. It is actually it is a gravity dam in Bhagirathi River. So Bhagirathi River, you know, uh, Joda ki tamara, like uh, origin of Ganga River. So Bhagirathi River is also Koteshwar Dam. Downstream of the Tehri Dam in Tehri district. Okay. So Bhagirathi and Alaknanda basically basically Ganga Hue and Prayag uh, or uh, Prayag. Or uh, Dev Prayag Okay. So there are five Prayags also. Okay, you can uh, tell in the comment section Prayags, different Prayags with which river it matches and all. Tulbur project, I'm telling you, the last project, Janav River, it is correct. So the last project, the last project, the project, the last 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 so Dalasti power station is run off river with uh, Ponde scheme with an installed capacity of 390 megawatts. So Dalasti code relat would run off river project for Uchi, Chenab River. Re. So Chenab, uh, Jhelum and Indus, it has a basically Western rivers uh, according to the Indus Water Treaty. Okay, we'll uh, read that. So it is located in Kishtuar district of UT Jammu Kashmir. So UT Jammu Kashmir or Kishtuar district of Uchi Koda, Dalasti uh, parts project in uh, Chenab River. Sardar Sarwar project, uh, it is in Narmada River. Would a Narmada initially start itla? Would a Narmada Bacha Andalan be itla? Medha Patkar Dora. So uh, it is in Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Vitra uh, Kishi Dispur Chaltila. Second biggest dam in terms of volume of concrete used in it. Second biggest dam in India uh, in terms of volume of concrete. Third highest concrete dam in India. Power generated from the dam would be shared between three states, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Gujarat. Then uh, let's learn about Indus Water Treaty. 1960, the sign between India and Pakistan. Under the treaty, signed between India and Pakistan in 1960, all the waters of the three rivers, that is namely Ravi, Satlej, and Bihar, Jodaki Eastern rivers, they are allocated to India for exclusive use. And Western rivers, Indus, Jhelum, Chena, were allocated to Pakistan. <clears throat> Except for specified domestic, non conjunctive and agriculture use permitted to India as per the treaty. So, the Western River Sula, that is uh, Indus, Jhelum, and Chenna, so India, Kong Kong Kuripario, domestic, non conjunctive and agriculture use, run of river to Kuripario. It like right to generate hydroelectricity through the run of river project. Run of river means what? Uh, water to store Kuri Oxford, to again, city, Miss Edabo, after generation, generation of electricity. So to utilize the water on the eastern rivers, which have been allocated to India for exclusive use, India has constructed the following dams. Bakra Dam on Satlaj, Pong and Pando Dam in Biaj, Thin, that is Ranjit Sagar Dam on Ravi. Other works like Biaj Satlaj Link, Madhavpur Biaj Link, Indira Gandhi Nahar Project and Bugara Hichi. However, about uh, 2 million acre feet of water annually from Ravi is reported to be still flowing unutilized. So I mean, I already 95% use Korchu. So to stop the flow of this water to extra Jauji to Amakon project Bonojo, Sahapur Kandi, Sahapur Kandi project. So this project will help in utilizing the waters coming out from the powerhouses of Thin Dam, Thin Dam and the Kilu, Kurthila, Thin Dam to Kojarthila, Puri River, your Ravi River, Ranjit Sagar Ravi River. Here, Sahapur Kandi project, Etavi Tomar basically. Uh, to utilize the waters coming out from power of the thin dam in irrigation and power generation in Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab. So, Ravi River Sutta also associated with Sahapur Kandi construction of Uj multi project project uh, that is on River Uj, that is a tributary of uh, Ravi also. Okay, then uh, second uh, Ravi Biaz link also uh, below Uj, uh, or a tunnel link also to Biaz Basin. Okay, so Tulbul navigation project that is on Jhelum. 
So it is uh, on the Western Rivers, Tulbul Navigation Project, Rakhle and uh, Bagli, Bagliha. Hydro projects on Chenab. Hello. So uh, mainly uh, runoff river projects and Borsar hydroelectric project on one of the tributaries of Chenab in Jammu and Kashmir. So Tulbul Kodala, Jhelum Regula, our Kishanganga project also was there. It has already completed. Uh, that is a tributary of Jhelum. Rathle and Bagliya, Chenab Rohela, Borsar uh, also in Chenab in Jammu and Kashmir. So Borsar once completed will be India's first project on the Western rivers to have storage infrastructure. Okay, Borsar. India has uh, around 4,407 large dams, the third highest number in the world after China, 23,000, boy, God, USA, 9,000. So India has around uh, 4,400. Tehri Dam in Uttarakhand, Tehri Dam is the highest dam in India, Bhagrat River, Raichi. Uh, your Hirakud Dam in Odisha, that is in Mahanadi River, longest dam in India. And Kalanai Dam in Tamil Nadu, the oldest dam in India. It is built on Kaveri River, about 2,000 years old. Dam. So let's see some pictures of different types of dams. Embankment, some of the These sites are basically mud, some uh, basically mud policy to give its uh, strength. So constructed from the compacted soil, earth fill, or rock, uh, rock fill with an impervious core. So that is the main core of this site of village. Designated to transfer the entire water load downward. Eighty percent of all large dams in the US are embankment dams used to retain water across wide river valleys or for flood control. Typically shorter and wider than other type of dams. Gravity dam, you can see here, mainly concrete usually constructed of concrete and stone masonry. Hello. Designed to transfer the entire water load downward. So water load could downward development, they both embankment and uh, your uh, gravity dam. Typically span narrow river valleys with bedrock abutments and foundations. Retain water by utilizing the weight of the dam to resist the horizontal water load pushing against it. Each section of the dam is independently stable. So this is an example of gravity and you can see figure. And arch dam, very famous. So it is, it is also constructed of concrete, designed to transfer water loads to the adjacent rock formations. Basically, to the load tarochi, this side go basically. The gravity dam the basically downward to the arch dam convey. Uh, that uh, water load from place adjacent rock formation ko. constructed only in canyons with solid rock walls that are able to resist the pressure of the dam because of the canyon walls bear the bulk of the load arch dams are thinly constructed requiring less material than other type of dams india are good arch dam uh, i think uh, the perrier dam maybe mula perrier dam okay you can tell me in the comment section arch dam examples in india buttresses constructed of reinforced concrete designed to transport the water load both downward and to the buttresses Hello, hello, gravity dams with a solid upstream phase. So let's move. <clears throat> Last question of the video. Which of the following human races was has woolly hairs? So answer is negroid. Okay. So let's see some features about uh, human races. So human races referred to human races a group of people with certain features in common that distinguish them from other groups of people. There are various systems of classification according to the 20th century classification given by American anthropologists. Carlton S. Kuhn. Five races are there Caucasoid, that is white race, Negroid, black race, Capoid, Bushman, or Hottentot race, Mongoloid, Oriental, American Indian race, Australoid, Australian Aborigine, and Papuan race. We note here that technically there are only three races Caucasoid, Mongoloid, and Negroid. Australoids, as well as Capoids, Australoids, our Capoids, that is Capoid, with uh, the Hottentots and Bushmen. They are considered a subgroup of Negroid people. So, Australoid and uh, on your classification is a major classification is a Australoid and Capoid ko, Negroid. So, in terms of populations, in the population, so the Caucasoid 55%, followed by Mongoloid 33%, Negroid 8%, Australoid 44%. So, Caucasoid is so the population, then Mongoloid. Okay. So, let's see some key features. Okay. So, I get to better next. Wala yes. So physical characteristics of major racial groups, skin color. So Caucasoid is basically the northern, the cold region. Hmm? Aryan race is what we have to say. Caucasoid has pale reddish white, reddish white to olive brown skin color. Mongoloid is mainly Asian races, Chinese and all. They have uh, skin color ranges from saffron to yellow brown. Yellow people because while some individuals have reddish brown skin color, Indians like. 
the negro indians actually mix up all the races okay the negroids have brown to even uh, like india has its own races like dravidians and all aryans dravidians the negroids have brown to uh, black brown black and yellow brown skin color stature the caucasoid have a medium to tall structure generally seen medium to tall ithandi mongoloids are medium tall to medium short and negroids are very short negroids are mainly found in africa mongoloids are found in uh, mainly asia caucasoid and europe etc and australids in australia so head form among the caucasoid head is generally long to broad and short long to broad and short and medium high to very high mongoloid head is prominently broad and medium high while it is predominantly long and low to medium high among negroids hello to negroids are long and low to medium high okay remember this uh, mainly skin color stature face it is narrow to medium broad narrow to medium broad and tends to high with no prognathism okay what is prognathism dekh do and mongoloids it is medium broad to very broad bagara bagara the face is medium broad to narrow both is dechi okay among the caucasian frequency of a is more than then that of b mainly caucasian is saying blood group basi a thai a mongoloid mainly b thai uh, negro re both a and b thai okay hair jo ek se portion pochar thila so remember this thing among the caucasian hair color is light brown to dark brown texture is fine to medium the form is straight to wavy the body hair among caucasian is moderate to profuse mongoloid the color of hair is brown to brown black it thila light brown to dark brown okay texture is coarse form is straight and body hair sparse negroid hair color is brown black texture is coarse form is woolly and or frizzy jodi question bachal thila body hair sparse so form is woolly and frizzy is saying negroid man karo aur eti thila straight karo your mongoloid straight and body hair sparse and here okay eye the color of eye is among caucasian is light blue to dark brown Uh, while the lateral eye fold is occasional among mongoloids the eye color is brown to dark brown and the medial epicanthic fold is okay whatever negroids eye color is brown to brown black both is dechi among the caucasian the nasal bridge is usually high oh god mona ke bahut kasht okay you see tumhe jodi like mona ke ichha mona ke do and finally body shape among the caucasian is linear to lateral and slender to rolled mongoloids it is uh, tends to be lateral with some linearity negroids the lateral and muscular so okay we'll stop here uh, for this part please uh, put your comments in the comment section and uh, give your feedback so we'll stop here thank you so much hari krishna